happy President's Day to all, to all a wonderful President's Day. Today we are going to be cooking with Uncle Mark. That's right, folks. We're going to be cooking with Uncle Mark today, and we're going to be making cherry pie. That's right. All my constituents out there, it's going to be a cherry pie kind of day. And of course, it wouldn't be uh, cooking with Uncle Mark without the first husband. Come on out, first husband. Are you ready for a wonderful President's Day? I am. Well, I'm we're going excited. to have a fantastic show for you today. You know, today we are doing, uh, in honor of President's Day, a cherry pie for George Washington. You know, George, uh, President's Day is based on George Washington's birthday. That's right, it is. His wife was originally just going to tie him to the bed. And, you know why? Why? And take out his wooden teeth. She was tired of getting splinters. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it, oh, that's it's, funny. It's been, you know, it must have been tough being Martha Washington. You know, the first, the, she's the very first lady of the United States. Hmm. I mean, George Washington was the father of our country. Yes. So I guess that would make Martha the mother of our country. I guess it would. Shit. This. The best thing the Congress must have been a bit. <laughs> Ouch! Hell, she could just get hold some of the congressmen today. I bet they can still tell you what it was like. <laughs> yeah. Well, a bunch of them need sugar tits, if you know what I mean. Oh, I know. It's a one thing after another. Well, <clears throat> you know, the other thing that they did is they made that the monument, the Washington yes. Monument, you know, yes. for uh, George Washington after him. You know, yes. I mean, what an impressive monument. It is. You know, it's when great. I die, I hope someone makes a monument like that for me. I mean, it's so big and thick and stands so tall and pointed. Erect. Erect. That's right. It is. It's erect. I mean, <laughs> what does that really say about George Washington? I guess, he was a very stand-up kind of guy, right? Uh, yeah. I guess that explains why he's the father of our country. <laughs> There you go. Oh, you know, I was thinking about making some whiskey cakes uh, for the show today. I think it might have been more for the whiskey uh, than the cakes that it made uh, George's favorite, one of George's favorite desserts. Absolutely. I mean, it must have been tough being the father of our country. But the constant <laughs> nagging by Martha, hurry up so you can get back to my honey do list. I don't care if you are father in the country. I still have things that have to be done. Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. I take out my wooden teeth and whack it right in the head. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> we're going to be making um, cherry pie and, um, uh, you know, uh, out of our lovely cookbook in... Uh, you know, one of the other things that um, I also thought about making was one of other one of <laughs> George's other favorites. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a drink of this dirty martini. Yeah, you made, it, you made it really dirty today. Mm -hmm. I hope y'all are ready for that kind of show because it's been one hell of a ride trying to get this damn thing together. Cheers. Mm. So he liked. <laughs> Of all things, hoe cakes. Hoe cake? Hoe cakes. What is that? I don't know. I was just always wondering what kind of cake a hoe would bake. <laughs> hey, don't you just love our colonial style wigs? Yes. All the curls and the ringlets and the ponytails. And We're going back in time today. I'm telling you, and people wonder where the origin, uh, origin of drag came from. <laughs> I mean, with these wigs and the face powder and the tights and the costumes, two plus two equals drag race. I mean, come on. <laughs> so, you know, <clears throat> my cherry pie is so sweet and good. You How like sweet and good is it? You like my cherry pie, don't you? I do. I love it. Yeah. Well, you know, I trapped a man with it. Oh, that would be you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Normally, no one can resist it, right, dear? That's right. That's right. That's it's, that's just right. So, what we've got for you today, we've done a few things ahead of time because it takes a little while to.
get your um, pie together, <laughs> get your pie ready, get your, you have to take a while to get your pie ready to be eaten. <laughs> There's preparation involved. I know it takes a long time for you to get your pie ready. Anyhow, <laughs> we have a couple of things. One, the crust that we're going to be using today is uh, the Pillsbury pie crust. You can get it in your store. But um, when I make my crust, I like to make my crust from scratch. Okay, but some people may not have time to make their crust from scratch, so... If this you, is my idea of making a pie. Yeah, this is... You know, like roll it, throw it, and go. And which makes it simpler, and you can still have a great pie, even though you bought it from a pie crust out of a box. But I make mine from scratch, so if you want to make it from scratch, what you get is you get three cups of all-purpose flour, you get a cup and a quarter of Crisco. You know about Crisco, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. Um, you get uh, two tablespoons of distilled white vinegar, six tablespoons of ice water, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a tablespoon of sugar, um, and uh, one large egg yolk. And uh, what we're going to do is you take your um, and one egg, one large egg. So you take your flour and you mix your salt in with it, get it well incorporated. Then you take your wet mixture, you take your egg and you beat it. Uh, and you take your distilled white vinegar and your ice water and you put it together and you beat that up. And you're going to put your Crisco into your flour first and you cut it. You just get nice and cut it up until it looks like little beads. Yes. Okay. And a then flour cutter. A flour, you can get a flour cutter, you can use knives, whatever. You can get it down to a bead, then you're going to add your wet liquid and you're going to form it into your dough. Okay. You don't overwork it. Um, and then you can cut it and roll it out and make your nice dough. But for today, we're just going to use the Pillsbury Doughboy, <laughs> Pillsbury Doughboy crust. <laughs> the Pillsbury Doughboy crust. for me. Pillsbury Doughboy crust. So, one of the, <clears throat> one of the things that we're going to be doing. And we're going to get a little bit of a close-up for you on this, and then we give you a nice little spoonful. Um, close-up on this cherry. Um, this is the filling that we're going to be using on the uh, in the pie, and we've made it ahead of time. It takes a little bit of time to cook it down, get it nice and thick, and you can see that it's just wonderful. All those beautiful cherries in there, and nothing better than a good filling. So. <clears throat> What you do, and you have to get red pitted cherries. Now, red, red tart. Red, 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 red tart pitted cherries. Got the tart. Red tart pitted cherries. Now, do you know how you got where you get red tart pitted cherries from? I have no idea. You don't know where you get red tart pitted cherries out from? Out of the can, right? No, you just call Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> well, I'm sure Chris Kardashian would know where to find that. Yeah, she probably pitted it for him. <laughs> That poor, that poor Caitlyn Jenner. I mean, I loved Bruce Jenner when he was like a runner, but now that he's been pitted, it's like, oh, hell no. Not, not, not mm -hmm. that I have any objections whatsoever, but, but I'm not giving up my chair for nobody. I'm not giving up my junk for nobody. So, so anyhow, I digress. I'm sorry, I'm making bad jokes here. Um, so what we're going to do right now, and I'll let you get started, you're going to okay. get you a nine-inch... Uh, pie crust pan, okay, and we're going to take, and we've already got our crust over here, and we're going to lay our crust in here, and I'll let you go ahead and do that, so let's okay. go ahead and get our crust put in that pan. We're going to put our crust in the pan, and you want to get you like a fork, okay, and we're going to um, take it, and we're going to poke holes in the top of it, where we're going to vent it. You know, you're going to prick. I'm going to prick it. I'm yes. going to prick my crust. Yes, you have to prick the crust <laughs> with the fork. I like pricking my crust, I tell you what. <laughs> Nothing better than getting a good prick near the crust. So, we're going to prick our crust, and then we're going to take and we're going to do, um, and I'll let you do this, bring it over here, and let's show them the pie crust. That's good. All right. So, you get your pie crust in your dish, and let you prick me. You want to prick me? I'll prick you. He's going to put little prick holes in it. And what this does is help vent, it helps it keep from bubbling up. Some people get like um, uh, beans or something, put them in like tinfoil, put them in there and weight it down so you don't end up with a bubbled up crust. 
And then you're gonna take, I'm gonna let you set that over there. Okay. Then you're gonna take your, this is just egg white, e egg white. <laughs> egg egg wash. Egg yolk. We're gonna take the egg yolk and we're going to um, take a brush and we're gonna brush the uh, pastry. Okay. Would you hand me that other one right there that's next to you? Mm-hmm. Now, <clears throat> Sometimes you can have a pastry disaster. A crust, sometimes your crust ends up looking like this mess. <laughs> it draws up. I hate when my crust shrinks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nothing better when your crust is all pulled up from the side, <laughs> looking all scrawny. <laughs> kind of like, uh, you know, <laughs> some before they go to their bar mitzvah. <laughs> I mean, this is just, yeah, this one doesn't work too well. But <clears throat> I like to take my crust once it's done, and we want to put a sprinkle of sugar over the top of the crust, and I'll let uh, the first husband, or the first gentleman, is that the correct term, first gentleman? Yeah, there might be some <laughs> debate about that. <laughs> no, I truly am a gentleman. <laughs> yeah, sorry, the first whore. No, first gentleman. <laughs> now I know where the hoe cakes came from. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. Very funny. <laughs> I love it when we have hoe cakes. So, <clears throat> we sprinkle it over. Now I like to brown the crust, and you can usually just follow the directions on your uh, box, or if you make the uh, crust from scratch, you're going to heat your oven to 375 degrees, and uh, brown it for 25 minutes and take it out. I like to do it that way because I don't like a soggy crust. Some people will just put the crust in, the dough in, fill it, put the other crust over it and seal it, and then bake it. It's, it's good both ways. I just prefer it to be a little bit crisper. Um, that way, I don't have, I don't like a soggy crust. Yeah. I don't like your crust when it's soggy. I don't either. Uh, so, <laughs> by, by the I give up today. Oh this has been a long two days. Uh, by the magic of the freaking internet, and I'm gonna show you what our crust looks like. Ta da! And, ta da! Here we have, and this is a store bought crust, by the way. Um, so we have a, a nice, beautiful uh, brown store bought crust that we've already um, got ready to put to fill. Yeah. <laughs> you like to fill my crust, wouldn't you? <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. You, yeah, you want your crust to be nice. And golden brown. Yes. Kind of like your ass after you get out from the pool. Oh. <laughs> Anyhow, we've got our crust here and we're all ready to go. So go ahead and we're going to take our filling. And this is quite simple. We're just gonna, we've already got it thickened. Now one of the things when you do your uh, filling, and I'll let you do this while I give them the recipe. Okay. Your, fill, your filling consists of uh, two, four and a half cans of red tart pitted cherries, a cup and a half of sugar, a half a teaspoon of cherry extract, a half a teaspoon of butter extract, three drops of almond extract, between an eighth and a quarter cup of cornstarch, one tablespoon of salted butter, three drops of red food coloring to color you like, and um, of course uh, one large egg yolk, okay, and that's for the crust itself. So, but in the filling, we don't put any egg yolk. So, what you do is you put in, you drain your cherries, you put your juice into your pot, and you add everything but the cherries. Now, <laughs> you don't want to put your cherries in and start whisking them. Nothing's worse than a pop cherry. I mean, <laughs> You want to pop your cherry too soon, otherwise it'll just make it runny. <laughs> Absolutely. So you whisk it over a medium heat, the juice and everything else with the cherries, till it gets nice and thickened up, and um, you're going to get a nice, thick sauce. Consistency. Yes, it's like your filling mixture over a medium heat, it should be smooth. It should be bubbling. It should be thick. And it should be sticky. And when it's ready, do you know what you do next? No, what? I have a cigarette. <laughs> I mean, why? 
When my feeling gets to that point, I was like, oh, God. <laughs> it's an e-cigarette, people. It would be an e-cigarette. <laughs> None of that other stuff is good for you. So <clears throat> we put our filling in here. And, of course, we wanted to make sure we vented the bottom of the pie crust really good. You know, kind of like a big girl tanning at the beach. We want to make sure we vent. Lots of ventilation. Real good. <laughs> so we don't have it bubbling up and, you know, poofing in the middle. So we've got our filling in. We can get a little bit. Uh, I don't want to tip <coughs> this because it'll run all over the table. But anyway, now we've got another crust over here. And when you get them, they're like this. They're long. And oh, I'm sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> You take it out of the package. You take again. it out of the package. Yeah. And you've got this. Come here, little bastard. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You get this long, rolled up thing of. You unroll it. I'm sorry, I got distracted again. Anyway, <clears throat> we're going to take it and we're just going to kind of unroll it. And they come out like this. They're nice and perfectly formed. Of course, then again, I like to make my crust from scratch and roll it out. And lay it over it and make it all pretty. So we're gonna seal the top of our crust. We're gonna put it over. Now your crust is, has a tendency to shrink. Yes. You know? So I like to take it and just kind of form it down on the edges of the pie crust. And Curtis does a nice job with his thumbs and stuff of making Fluting it. He, he flutes his crust well. <laughs> I do flute my crust well. I bet you do flute your crust well. I do. Well. All that fluting going on. <laughs> it's like, anyhow. So there's all this fluting going on. <clears throat> and we get all the way around to the edge and um, take it down to the edge of the uh, pie pan. Um, and here we go. I'm not going to get take too much time fluting my stuff, but <laughs> basically you're gonna take your fingers and you're gonna kinda put a dent, put a dent, put a dent, we're gonna go all the way around and we're gonna have our crust on top and then of course you wanna make sure your edges are nice and pretty. The other thing that we uh, want to do is get you a knife, probably not such a big machete like this, but this is what we're gonna use to cut the pie. You can put some little vent holes in it on top. Um, and the other thing that you can do, and you'll see our finished product when we get to it, is um, you can take, a, if you have some extra dough, especially if you made your own dough, you can form your a little decorative cherry and stem and stuff yes. and put it on top, whatever, a nice little, uh, cute little thing. And then we, of course, we want to take this, we want to make sure that we brush the top real good with our egg wash. And I like the egg yolk. Some people want to use the egg white. Um, but I just got to the use of getting that good color from the um, egg yolk. It's so, a nice golden brown. And I, <clears throat> I tell you, Devin showed me something the other day. It was so cute. How to separate my oak and my uh, what? Oak. My, my oak. <laughs> my oak. He separate my oak. My yolk from my white. Um, and uh, take a, look like a, two liter bottle or a, a water bottle. Mm -hmm. Took a water bottle and he sucked the yolk out from the white. Wow. And it worked really good the first time. The first time? Yeah. Not so much the but, second time. But the six other tries later, it was kind of like, <laughs> okay, are you gonna separate that today? I just take it and crack my shell open and um, slowly but surely um, tip it back and forth between the two shells. I've just done it so long that but there's a lot of interesting, you can find a lot of interesting tips on how to separate your yolk from your wife, mm. or your, your hope from your wife, I don't know, yolk from wife. All right, so we've got it nicely brushed. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna take our sugar. Sugar. <laughs> Sweetie pie. And I like to give a nice little layer of, um, not too much, a little dusting. Yes. A little dusting of sugar. <laughs> Dusting of sugar. There we go. <laughs> it's not very dust, honey. Oh, damn. <laughs> Does that not make me Tinkerbell? Uh, no. <clears throat> oh, screw that. I'm going to be able to fly. <laughs> so, anyway, so we're going to take this and we're going to place it in our oven. For how long? Let's get a what good temperature. Let's get a nice close up of it. 
here we go. We got, and of course, you like I said, you can decorate it with your different, um, you know, whatever you want to put on the top of it. So <clears throat> you're going to put this pie in the oven at 350 degrees for 50 minutes. It'll be nice and brown when it comes out. And one thing you want to remember is, don't try to cut your pie right out of the oven. It will be hot. It will be running. I usually take it. I'll put it in. I let it cool. I'll put it in a pie container, put it in the ice box overnight, and then serve it the next day. And that way you've got a nice, now, not to say that even after you go through all that trouble, when you get ready to cut your pie, it can still be sometimes runny. Um, but, you know, if you get your filling nice and thick, usually it comes out pretty good. I will also tell you when you cut your pie, usually the first slice, that's the one that's hardest to get out. It usually ends up a big crumbled mess. I usually serve that to myself and not to my guests. So, by the magic of the internet, we're going to shove this into our magic oven. Da, 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 da. You like having it shoved in your magic oven? I do. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. And by the magic of the internet... Oh, isn't that pretty? We have our cherry pie for the evening. Yes. Isn't that delicious? It does look delicious. Oh, yes. I love the adornment with the cherries and the stem. And I took a little food coloring and some little uh, sprinkles and I sprinkled my cherries and I outlined them with some food coloring and I did the stem that way. So, <clears throat> you want to get yourself a nice sharp knife, okay, and grab us some plates. Alright, folks. It's been a long time coming. I was working, making sure we get this right. So we're going to cut us a little slice here. And everybody, keep your fingers crossed. We've got... Drum roll, please. A nice, thick, wonderful crust. There we go. Oh. And this first piece, like I said, sometimes doesn't come out to the best. And I usually use my... Um, my uh, lifter, pie lifter, and I usually make sure my slices are that way, otherwise I'm breaking the pie off from the uh, one piece next to it. That's a good idea. Until I get the, that's the first piece. Yes. And then you, then you got a little room to work with. Slip it under there. Mm. It looks pretty good. Got a little crust that didn't come up. That off. Looks very nice. The texture um, and the color of the filling is superb. Now I'm going to get a little close up before I cut the next piece of our lovely cameraman. See a nice little close up of the cut pie. And it's not running out, it looks really good. So, <clears throat> did we get that good? Good cameraman back there. The hats off to our cameraman, Devin. Wigs off. So, wigs off. <laughs> and like a little sound and a uh, great guy for sound and lighting and also acting. I swear I can't wait to go down the red carpet with him because he's going to be a star someday. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, yes. Look at that. Now grab me the whipped cream. Nothing's... Juice of there we go. Okay. And I like to use my uh, ready whip and let's decorate it and we'll show a nice little picture to the camera. Let's, Not lady. let's get a close up. How does that look? And that just looks like you just want to dive your lips into it and eat until the day is long. I'm telling you what. Now, for our audience, because you know, my niece Tracy, my lovely sweetie pie, she said, make sure you describe the smells, the taste, the texture. So describe to our audience what you're tasting here. Okay. Oh, let me get a little mouth on this. A little bite. Mmm. Oh my god. Sweet and tart all at the same time. And the crust, this oh, is my homemade crust. Right. Very flaky and tender. Yes, it's got that little bit of buttery flavor to it and the smell. Mm. Um, it's just like when you walk into a kitchen, you've got that the cherry flavor, that aroma, that fresh bakery. It just, oh, 
Smear it. Oh my god, this is so good. And we're, okay, there we go. Got him one little, little bite. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, very good. I could eat. I know that this one here, he likes his cherry pie. So, yes, I do. We are come to the end of our show. And, uh, you know, I have to tell you, though, this feature is you know, more than women. Oh, wait, that's not a real stretch for me, though, is it? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Anyhow, we, <laughs> we've come to the end of our show. We know it's not a stretch for you. Uh, <laughs> so, as always, we have our final toast. Wigs on, as they say in the thing, tits up. <laughs> Here's to it, and Here's to it. it again. To it again. And to the hopes. To the hopes. We do it again. We do it again. The birds do it. The birds do it. The bees do it. The bees do it. Even the little fleas do it. Even the little fleas do it. And if you can't remember how to do it. If you can't remember how to do it. You call me, and we'll do it to you. And we'll do it to it. Mm. Cheers. Happy President's Day, happy cooking, and we will see you next weekend. Is next weekend the Oscar show? It is. We're having our Oscar show next weekend. Please share this with everybody on your Facebook, YouTube, and make sure to follow us. And don't look for our cookbook on Barnes & Noble. Bye now.